Okay, we're going to go over the properties of inheritance. We've got on this, the left side, we've got the autosomal dominant and recessive, and then we've got X-linked and mitochondrial, and we're going to draw pictures to kind of get an idea, that remember. That is. So we're going to draw an auto, and that's what we've got here. I know it's a beautiful automobile. That is speeding off or whatever. And most of the autosomal dominant are structural, so it's like he's banging into structure. It's both females and males are, are affected in each generation. You see that because it shows up, it's dominant. It often presents after puberty. So it's males and females that are affected. Okay, so autosomal dominant. Here we've got autosomal recessive. The half filled in are considered carriers. They're carriers. They have one child that, that has the disorder because they, and it's usually 25%. you know, the, uh, the offspring. Now, we, I'm not putting there, but I'm sure one or two are carriers here. You know, this one might be a carrier and this one might be a carrier, however you want to put it. But, but this is, because it's autosomal recessive, we're going to put recess swings. Recessive. And we have here the swings. And on the swings, we're going to put an E and a Z. Often this has a lot to do with enzyme disorders. Autosomal recessive. Uh, it's commonly seen in enzyme deficiencies like phenoketo, uh, urea, which is PKU, cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia. It presents in childhood, and that's the whole idea of recess and recessive. So we've got the swings, the enzymes, it's 25% of the children or offspring are affected. Over here we have the X-linked recessive. And we're going to have a X here to denote X. Right there, you get a 50-50 chance because it really comes from mom. Well, it comes, it can come from dad, as you can see. Dad here has this, and he can make his daughter a carrier. Um, oh, but his son wouldn't be have it. So let's erase that. His son would not have it because he would give his Y to his son. See, I'm glad I caught that. So anyway, we have a, a son here, and he's kind of sad because he got whatever it was. There we go. And he is saying, go or stop or go away even though you've got the male sign coming toward him. So it is males. Sons have a 50% chance of being affected from heterozygous mothers or carriers. See, the mother gave this X to her daughter, then in turn she gave it to her daughter and gave it to her son. So you've got a carrier, but she won't get it because it's recessive and she's got the other X. That's what you got to look at. Um, it's only trans transmitted on the X chromosome, not the Y. So even though her son has it here, he's not going to give it to his son. He'll make his daughter a carrier, though. Uh, heterozygous females may be affected uh, from mother or father. So, you know, if, if you have a heterozygous here with a homozygous, you could have a, a female that has it. Um, example for this is um, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. A 
also less nine uh, disease. I mean, there's a whole bunch of X links recessive, but this is how it works. So you're going to see it uh, show up in males only most of the time. So now down here we've got mitochondrial uh, inheritance, and what you see is all the affected of the female. And oops, here we go. This guy needs to be filled in. So all the female has this. The, all of her, she doesn't show up for some reason, but the mother transmits. There's a mutation in the mitochondrial DNA, and all of her children get it, and in turn, all of her children get it. But these two are males, and they don't. They don't uh, pass it on. So you've got a mom here who's like, oh, she says, my toe, mitochondria. I'm just thinking the mother's good enough, but here we go. We'll and we have and a big. Doesn't that look like a toe? Looks like a mutant foot. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, mitochondrial. Uh, inheritance. Only the mother transmits it, transmits it, no transmission from the father, and all offspring are affected and get the symptoms. So these are uh, properties of inheritance for each generation, autosomal dominant, um, autosomal recessive, uh, X-linked recessive, and mitochondrial.